Hello, my name is Patty, and I'm going to do a tutorial today uh, that Faithcraft uh, asked me to make for you. And it is a, um, a miniature scrapbook. And it's made out of um, toilet paper rolls. Okay, first thing you want to do is make sure you have some kind of piece of paper underneath your item that you're working with when it comes to acrylic paints, or you'll get it all over your, uh, your tablecloth. So basically, we're going to be working with toilet paper rolls. These are just toilet paper, or you can use um, um, paper towel rolls, too. Uh, they work just as well. If you cut them in half, they can do the same thing. Now, I've already got these done. I'm going to move those forward. In order to get this one started to make it look like this, I just take my hands and I press down. And it flattens them down evenly. And then I just keep doing that until it's flat. And then I take my scissors and I just score it. To make it stay down, that's the only way you're going to get it to work right. And what I do to make these holes here, and make sure that they're exactly the same, all three, all five actually, is I line them up on each other, one of the other one, and I get it perfectly straight. And then I take my pen, and then I just make my little holes, little round circles underneath there. And then I take my hole punch, and I go over where the holes are, like so. And then I just exactly lined up this way. Now, how I got the color on it and everything, all I did was take just a regular old stencil brush. This one is a uh, tip. And I'm just taking a little bit of brown acrylic paint, and I just dab it around the corners, around the edges. Now, while this one dries, we're going to lay them on top of each other. Make sure it's good enough, look right. You see it already starting? You're just going to slide things down inside this. You can use wire, which is probably what I would use, but uh, I can, you could also use yarn. You want to line them up. Or a ribbon. You can take the end if you want to. Okay, fine. And all I did was use um, this purple glitter. It's a paint, but it's glitter paint. And it's that folk art. And it's called Ext Extreme Glitter. And it's very, it's, oh, it's so pretty. As you can see, it's really, really glittery. And I just tap it on the outside. And then I put whatever it is I want to put on it. So I'm going to take this. I'm going to do it like this. Round it. Of course, it's not going to meet exactly. And just cut it off. Which is what I'll probably do. So I'm getting it even. Right where I want it. And I bend it. Because this stuff is really easy to bend. And then I just cut it. Perfect. Sometimes it don't have to be perfect. Because messy or something looks that you removed. I think. 